Well, the race has just begun and uh, it's all to go for because uh, remember that the Olympic qualifying mark for this event is 9 minutes and uh, 30 seconds and uh, Sudha Singh uh, has the personal best timing of uh, 9 minutes uh, 26.55 which she touched in the 2016 and recently in an interview she said that uh, she is all set to go for the Olympics and she has focused on this discipline also she has per performed in uh, half marathon marathon and uh, all other type of uh, such races on the locked instance but uh, she's uh, running at the first position there so that's the previous big of the name of Liam with a performance of 62.29 well here we have it so what i was mentioning is that sudha singh uh, has in a recent interview said that uh, she is focusing on this event only and uh, want to book her ticket to the japanese capital from steeple chase running at the first position at this point of time with the shrinanka athlete uh, nilini ratnayake of sri lanka but uh, still now again first position is with sudha singh the girl from raibari in uttar pradesh and uh, when uh, the steeple chase held for the first time at the Asian Games in 2010. She won the gold medal in that contest, in which uh, 5,000 and uh, 10,000 meters uh, also saw two finishers uh, by the Indian at the podium. So, Sudha Singh won the inaugural edition of uh, steeple chase at the Asian Games in 2010, and later on added uh, another medal to her tally. <coughs> She won bronze in 2018 at Jakarta. Still in good touch. That's what we expect. Racing Oponia already has she has set uh, a meet record. Will uh, she improve that to further distance? Now our desire and demand is a 63.5 or more. And uh, can she join? Come on, please. That's what we want to see it looks to me a very big throw it looks to me a very big throw and here she has achieved that here she has achieved that 63.72 oh that's a big one 63.72 congratulations to Seema Punia for achieving that feat uh, and what we were expecting is that another athlete uh, will join Seema Punia on the aeroplane to the Jap uh, will join uh, the another athlete uh, in the discus throw will join uh, Kamal Preet Kaur in the aeroplane to the Japanese capital and here she has achieved that feat 63.72 that is not only a new meet record but uh, that has also given her the qualification to the Olympics. So now it's a rich sign for the Indian athletics that uh, we are going to see participation of uh, two athletes uh, in the women discus throw. That's a rich sign for Indian athletics that uh, another athlete qualified directly to the Olympics. For congratulations to Seema Punia, we expect and hope that uh, she'll use all her experience of uh, many years and uh, May she perform her best and uh, 
do something extra there for the nation. Nandini of Tamil Nadu. Just threw the javelin there. And meanwhile, athletes uh, of the steeple chase are also doing very well. Remember that uh, if uh, anyone finishes uh, below 9 minutes and 30 seconds, then uh, the athlete will directly qualify for the Olympics. And keep your eyes on the timing of Sudha Singh especially. Parul Chaudhary has also competed in various disciplines on long distance races. She is uh, still there at the third position. And sandwiched between them is the athlete of Sri Lanka, Nalini. Maintaining her uh, edge. Maintaining her first spot is Sudha Singh of Raibareli, but we want uh, something extra from her. Can she book the ticket to the Olympics? Or can both the athletes of India, Parul Chaudhary and Sudha Singh, uh, book their tickets? Well, the task is uh, slightly tougher for uh, Parul Chaudhary because her personal best timing is of 10 minutes, uh, 1.06 seconds. Though she has thus that at Patiala, she knows this track very well, has participated in a lot of events at this venue. Again, it's Seema Punya's turn. Can she increase her limit? Can she go beyond? 63.72 We ex are expecting that Sudha Singh will get uh, her best time here. Here you can see that she has now opened up a gap of about uh, 8 meters on Parul Chaudhary from Uttar Pradesh. These two girls from Uttar Pradesh are taking the battle to their personal level. But Sudha Singh is clearly ahead of about, at about 8 meters. Still a uh, few more laps to go, so anything can happen there. But all eyes are on the clock of 9.30. Sudha Singh, she has concentrated and focused so hard for this event and uh, in fact uh, she participated in uh, very few meets uh, this year and focused uh, too hard on this event. She thought that this is uh, her cup of tea. In fact, she got, came to the national headlines uh, due to this event when she won the gold medal at the Asian Games in uh, 2010 as I already have mentioned but these two athletes are still checking stamina of each other and running so close to each other Parul Chaudhary was about 8 meters behind but uh, she, she got the call and uh, closed down on the leader for the first time she is ahead in this contest one and a half more laps to go in this contest for the first time Parul Chaudhary is ahead of Sudha Singh the Shankarna athlete Nalini is at the third position, about uh, 10 meters behind, and Komala Jagdale of uh, Maharashtra is at the fourth spot there. Here you can see all the first four athletes in this contest. It's uh, going to be a close finish, that's what I can assure. Sudha Singh has a lot of experience. And on the other hand, Parul Chaudhary. is 25 so it's a battle of two generations that is taking place at NIS Patiala two of the best uh, steeplechase runners at this time at NIS Patiala As they are going for the last uh, last lap, we are currently now again with uh, Seema Punia. Let's see what she is going to achieve with that. Now Paral Chaudhary running at the first position there. and. Uh, in the meantime, something went wrong with uh, Sudha Singh. 
we will return to that uh, what uh, happened there but parul choudhury is comfortably cruising towards the wicket there about uh, 150 meters to go as she is going for the water hurdle and after that uh, there is one more uh, hurdle and uh, after that she will see the finishing line sudha singh is out of contention in the meantime as we focused on uh, the discus throw arena here is sudha uh, parul choudhury comfortably cruising towards the tape and going to close the contest 10 minutes 2 uh, seconds uh, and she was quite near to her personal best there and komal zagdale did very well there and improved her position from fourth to second spot and shrilankan athlete nadine came third in that contest sudha singh who was uh, looking quite promising and something went wrong with her in the last two laps we couldn't quite really focused on that and you soon as i'll get the information i'll relay that to you the tirangana athlete ji maheshwari is still on the track a lap out it's a very hot and uh, humid day here at NIS complex in Patiala going for the water hurdle is G Maheshwari from Tirangana जी महेश्वरी हेर शी इज गोइंग टू क्लोज हर कैंपेन देयर एंड दैट्स हाउ वी पुट कल्टेंस टू द थ्री थाउजेंड मीटर स्टीपल चेयर्स वेर ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स रीच टू होम you can easily see that uh, how much energy they have given on the track on this hot and uh, humid day evening parul chaudhary of uttar pradesh won that contest the time is of uh, 10 minutes uh, 1.58 second that's uh, just outside her personal best komal of uh, komal jagdale of uh, maharashtra came second and lulli of sri lanka claimed the bronze medal in that contest Thank <laughs> you.